It's a very quick tip to show you a feature in Moda that some of you may not be aware of. When you use certain kinds of fall off, such as the noise fall off, it's useful to have some kind of preview of what the effect's going to look like. And there is just such a thing in the view menu if you go to show fall offs, you can see that it's a giving you a preview of how the noise is going to be applied. And if you go into the properties panel here on the left, you can interactively adjust this. So then if I activate a tool such as the move tool, see the falloff is being applied and the actual scale of the falloff is still interactive so you can go back to the falloff properties and uh, scale it up and down. And when the tool's dropped you can see the falloff has been applied. There's just one thing you need to know is that if you try and toggle this um, on and off while a tool is active it will actually bake the scale of the, the um, falloff. So, that's a shame that the uh, view toggle is not interactive but everything else is and it's quite um, a useful thing to know. Another situation where the show falloffs um, feature can be really useful is with the selection falloff especially until Modo gets a proper soft select kind of tool. So if I activate the bend tool on this cylinder um, I'm just going to quickly sort of twist it round on itself a few times create a kind of seashell effect. Um, there is actually a hidden seashell feature in Modo but um, that's for another tutorial another day. Let's just pull this out a little bit and just fix that distortion that's on the end. Pull it out a little bit more. There we go. That's the kind of effect I want. I just want to fix what's at the end there. Probably trying to twist it around one too many times. Okay, well that will do for now. So if you want to make uh, one end of this um, seashell shape thinner than the other, there's a very simple way of doing this. Um, if you just quickly select this poly and go shift up just once and then use the left bracket key to invert the selection. I'm going to hit the O key on the keyboard to just hide the selections very quickly and then select the selection fall off. Now this is absolutely useless if you can't see what it's doing so we obviously need to go to view show fall offs and you can see it's drawing a gradient across the selection and in the properties panel here you can interactively increase or decrease the number of steps. Uh, when you're relatively happy with it, it's a good idea to hide it again just so you've got better visibility. And then I can activate the scale tool and as you can see it's scaling one end of the selection more than the other. And while the tool is active you can also interactively change the steps in the selection falloff. So there you have it. I hope you found that useful and thank you for